Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We do have live tournament action coming at you right now. It is on MLG's Metalopolis, Crusher, and Big Papa. Big Papa. And we do have Njex on the line with us. Njex, how you doing? Great. How you doing there, Knack? Pretty dang good. This is so far so good. What a nice tournament. But we're going into... Is it what you isn't this what you said a platinum versus platinum action here? Yes, we have Crusher who is a platinum pro toss of about uh, 400 points and Big Papa who is also platinum. Um nice. but has a uh, about mm, He has about 900 points it appears. Oh, nope, sorry. I'm reading that wrong. He has about 400 points as well. So we're it's a pretty even match up here. Yeah, It'll be interesting great. to see. Yeah, that will be. And it is going to be Crusher at the 12 o'clock position. He is the purple, Protoss. Big Papa, pink, down at the 6 o'clock position. He is Zerg. Tough Zergs wear pink. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, good stuff. So cross positions here on Metalopolis. I do like MLG's Metalopolis. Um, uh, obviously, the uh, new Blizzard version that they added back into the map pool is a good version as well. The only difference now is that there is the supply depot, that neutral supply depot down on the low ground. And, uh, yeah, that would be awesome. Though with this, on this map, I think there's, especially for lower level players or even platinum level players, which tend to be fairly knowledgeable, uh, they've got enough experience on maps like this where um, they can where it should be a pretty comfortable position for them you know what i mean indeed it looks like um we may be forgoing a forge fast expand here because we have a gateway dropped first yeah gateway on the high ground and he is going to be walling off i assume with the cyber core uh yes he is but crusher come on buddy this is not a good wall off here that is a huge gap, which you will have to pretty much put four zealots in there to even block it off. Oh, yeah. So I, I've done exactly that on this exact map and was absolutely swarmed within two minutes. So we did get an early gas out of Big Papa and a, and a spawning pool that was, uh, I think, about 14 supplies. So we could be seeing a possibly roaches quite shortly. Yeah, especially since he's still mining that gas. I think he may be right. We could see a big roach push here. And uh, roaches with lings behind are going to fare extremely well at this failed wall in here for Crusher. So Crusher does need to be worried about an attack here, I think. We've got the probe of Crusher sitting in the base, so he does know that that gas is up and that they're still mining. Oh, there goes the probe. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully Crusher has has thought about this and why that gas is already there and still at this point being mined. And we've got a couple of Zerglings running out right now and, oh, a second hatchery already. Nice. Ah, good expand timing there from Big Papa. Uh, not bad at all. Looks like Crusher going to be going for a four gate here. So the interesting thing here is that Big Papa hasn't really been paying attention much to what's going on in Crusher's base. I would like to see a little bit better scouting here. It looks like he is sending out a Zergling right now. I would like to see him poke up the ramp here and uh, just try and catch wind of what's going on because this uh, four gate here is could potentially mean trouble for for uh, Big Papa if he's not prepared. Yeah, this uh, this zealot here is not on hold. So if this, this uh, Zergling comes up, he could probably dart right around the zealot and see everything. Yeah. Oh, and there's a stalker there. I don't see that Zergling getting up there now, to be no. perfectly honest. Not going to make it now, that's for sure. But we do have a Baneling Nest about to complete for Big Papa. So he may be going for uh, some T-Base uh, Baneling Bust here. Of course, you don't really need a Baneling Bust if you don't have a wall in. So <laughs> we'll see how that's going to go for him. But looks like he may wall it off here eventually. I don't know. We'll see. See what he's got. To be, to be honest, I find ba uh, Baneling uh, drops or Baneling Rushes to be a lot more effective against Terran. Um, to be honest, I I would have liked to see Big Papa go Roaches. And we got actually a little bit of a force moving out here by Crusher. And there's actually a probe in there. We're probably going to see a forward pylon. Yep. Good but... forward gate push here. He's getting, oh wow, he's getting a late robotics facility here. I disagree with that. That is for sure. But he does have the minerals for it. Looks like he should be okay. 
still pushing his four gate attack, which it just comes down to that he's a little bit late on some of his warp ins here. You shouldn't have this much extra minerals if you're going to be four gating. You know what I mean? Indeed. Um, but um, excuse me, Big Papa does know that this force is coming because he does have that drone sitting up at that Excel Naga tower. Yeah, he saw it moving. You saw it there, so he should be expecting, oh, here comes a cup. Oh, here we go. I don't think this stalker is going to live. <laughs> this is when you A-move as Zer or I mean, as, uh, Pr as Protoss. You never try and back away from speedlings like this. You notice he's just going to be losing these units here. They're just going to go down. He does have that, mm, nope, the forward pylon is going to go down too, and that probe is probably going to die as well if he doesn't start moving it. Yeah, this is a quite an error here from crusher crusher going to be losing this game i assume because of this error i mean this is a lot of units that he should have still be alive i mean he could have taken out at least half of these units with uh with that as well as make those oh. banelings kind of be a waste oh that's a lot of banelings that's a lot of banelings <laughs> we do have an immortal but i don't think all oh, that was a mm, i don't agree with that force field there um wasn't exactly put in the correct spots they still got around these these banelings can just take out all these pylons and make all these buildings useless. Yeah. And that's exactly <laughs> what he does. Well, Unpowering like, almost all of them there. That is brutal. And here come your lings. Lings is going to be fairly effective moving forward here. It's going to snipe that immortal. Good snipe there. Crusher is supply blocked and only has one gate working and. Ooh, and here comes more speedlings. I think this may be GG very shortly if Crusher can't muster up something fast. More banelings. He's just going to take up pylons again and again and again. <laughs> He's going to keep them all unpowered. This is not a bad play from Big Papa. And quite frankly, him taking his third behind this is an extremely smart move. He should be in fairly decent position to take this game down. Here comes that attack yet again. Bailing's not super effective against Immortals, that's mm. for sure. He was force fielded there, so that was a nice little that was a nice little uh, uh, go by the sentries. And here's some more warping units. And... That was a good idea to back off there because that immortal was firing on them. But he's running right past the line of vision. Yeah, yeah, nice defense there from Crusher. I mean, that that's nice to see, especially considering his uh, failed attempts there a little bit earlier. And he, I mean, he really got take. He took a lot of damage here. And moving forward, though, Big Papa is still in phenomenal shape. His third about to be completed. Um, no new tech from him quite yet. He's still on just hatchery tech. Would like to see him probably go ahead and grab a lair just in case. At this point, you've got to be careful because um, if you if you if you wound a Protoss player this much, sometimes they just resort to you know DTs or something like that. So you kind of need that lair tech just to be safe. But notice that he is securing his gold expand here as well. So I like this. He's taking what he believes is a substantial lead and turning it into an economic lead very very quickly. I mean, now the units lost tab is going to be almost identical here. Not uh, quite. You'd be surprised. I've been looking at it for the past minute with a bit of uh, a bit of uh, su surprise here, actually. Yeah. Well, but I mean, Crusher Crusher has has lost a good a great deal of units, and still being on one base is really going to be hurting him as he moves forward. Especially if you consider, well, that base is uh, almost. It's a, it's a warp prism. It's a little bit over half. Oh yeah, warp prism. That's actually not a bad idea. Because he can just park that. Right on the edge of any of uh, Big Papa's base. Unfortunately, Big Papa did see it. Yeah, he did see it with that uh, Overlord. Good placement there. But uh, Big Papa definitely going to be stopping his opponent from taking any expands here for just a little bit. He's going to have to cruise down that ramp if he wants an expansion. But more banelings morphing in up here at the uh, 12 o'clock position. Looks like he may oh. go for another baneling bust here. It'll be interesting. Um, I don't see any anti-air from... Other than the queens from Big Papa, so this warp prism can technically scout without much fear. Yeah, that's true, and it's seen quite a bit. It's cruising around the map. It, I'm not sure it really saw the gold expand. Actually, let's just check the vision. No, he didn't see the gold expand, but uh, he's going to be cruising back to the back of the base there, and sh well, he's stopping. Never mind. So we'll see. We'll see. The trouble for Crusher moving forward here is that he just doesn't have the economy that he needs to be really doing 
to be playing in this game any longer. I mean, Big Papa is really moving forward here. Twilight Council is going down. I assume we're going to try and see DTs here. Here come those Banelings. They're going to be running up against that Immortal like it's a brick wall. So nice placement of that Immortal there, but uh, Big Papa going to be backing out. This is time to go for Lair Tech, but we do have some warp ins here for Crusher. Crusher going to go ahead and nail the supply line here. There he goes. A move. That's the best thing to do, man. Never try and run away from Zerglings. <laughs> To be honest, it, it, this uh, drop here, this warp in, didn't really do a great deal. It only killed off one drone, and the drone count for Big Papa is considerably higher than that of the probe count for Crusher right now. Um, 68 drones to 21 probes, uh, up to 81 drones. Yeah. <laughs> As I said that. Yeah, that's My goodness. crazy town, and he's got a couple lings cruising out across the map. Notice that uh, Crusher trying to secure his his uh, natural here, but, oh man, at this point he's going to have to start to deal with the uh, Mutalisks. We've got that Spire about to be complete. I assume we are going to go for Mutas. Uh, maybe that's a bad assumption, who knows, but uh, probably Mutas here with lings and Banelings tends to be a good combination, and uh, uh, Crusher's going to have a, he's going to have a difficult time dealing with uh, Mutalisks. Now he is grabbing his Dark Shrine. DTs will be on the way here momentarily, I assume. And uh, just depending on how quickly he can get those suckers out across the map, they could be able to do a decent amount of damage. The trouble is, is I mean, he's got to take out like two bases at a time with DTs um, for them to really be cost effective because it will not take long for Big Papa to get out a great deal of that detection. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this could be a difficult position for Crusher still moving forward. He's still at half. The supply count of his opponent, and that's absolutely brutal. Here comes another DT warp into the main. Well, Big Papa here has, as far as I can see, I don't see any, um, any sort of detection out okay. of Big Papa right now. Whoop! Did I just it. miss a warp in? Does not he doesn't have it. it. He's got an overseer on the way right now. The overseer should be just fine here to deal with these guys, but a couple overseers got. Double spine crawlers here going to be whapping away. Here come your lings. These guys are going to try and take these guys out before they deny this this uh, lair tech. Oh, the lair may go lair... down. Ah, nope. No. If it, if it did go down, that could have easily caused a lot of headache for Big Papa. But, oh, there's the mutalisks. But that overseer brought in just perfectly and just in time. Yep. Perfect stuff. So he's got now several mutalisks. And by several, I mean like. 21 which is the same as having 200 at this point because guess what crusher gonna have a very difficult time dealing with them regardless of the number he doesn't really have the aa that he needs now he's got a couple stalkers here but he's really gonna have to be on his toes notice he does not have blink that's gonna that's gonna be hurting him i think moving forward no plus upgrades on these guys either and just barely getting his natural saturated here at 18 minutes in and that is just brutal just brutal what can i say I don't see a forge anywhere nope. for Crusher at all. No forge. And we're looking at insane numbers of units coming out of Big Pop right now. Like, tons of Banelings, tons of Zerglings, tons of Mutalisks. Like, right now, Big Pop is just... He's about to slaughter poor Crusher. Yeah, and Crusher he's... Crusher just now got a forge. just barely put it down. And the thing is, if you look at the resources tab... Being at that gold base and actually taking two more expands right now has put him with a lot of floating green for him to use. Uh, yeah. This, this war prism's been sitting here idle for probably the last five minutes, doing literally nothing. Wow, that's a that's a wall. <laughs> look at look at this wall of zerglings and mutalisks. Yeah, there they go. They're going to be cruising forward here momentarily, and uh, this is a death force, I think, from Big Papa. I mean, even though yeah, like stalkers kind of sort of counter these. I don't know. There, there's just no way you can deal with these numbers. This is way too many units for Big Papa to deal with. Here come the banelings. The banelings not even going to get there barely in time to do any damage because everything is already almost dead here. <laughs> You would be smart to put those banelings up and just take out those, uh, take out a pylon or two in the main base, which would actually make it impossible for reinforcements. But I don't, and you know what? He doesn't need to. Oh, a Colossus popped out, but. Oh! Dead. 
Poor Colossus. Poor Colossus. And everything up here in the main about to be dead. Crusher doing a pretty decent job at the very beginning, but um, I think... This is going to be GG. Yeah, because of that, what happened in that first attack, he was just unable to come back. I think he spent too long trying to get out uh, attacking units when he should have been macroing up and uh, getting his, his economy back where it needed to be. And yeah, this is over, over, over in a very, very big way. He doesn't even hardly have time to GG before all of his buildings are going to disappear. <laughs> well, the the Robo was really unnecessary, and the Forge was exceedingly late, so... Yeah. Agreed, but thanks everybody for coming out. Nice game there, and uh, congratulations and to our winner. He will be moving on to the next round, so don't alt-tab. Always alt-Starcraft. We'll see Big Papa hopefully later on in the tournament, and we'll see you guys then.